speak Hawaiian and English at home because her parents were not allowed. So, like I said, it is a touchy subject, but it's like how my Tupuna who taught us, Papa, uh, Papa Pauli Kanakamigoli, he's a mommy minister, but he has passed away. So he had problems with his mommy, uh, mommy ministers, but as he told them, I'm Hawaiian first, when my culture needs to practice, I'll practice it. When I'm done with it, I'll go back to the Christian world. <coughs> they, they, they really very thankful. They are part of this occasion. They say they started out here in a sailing canoe, sailing for no <coughs> part of the truth. So they heard from Mason when he announced on the radio that these people, Hawaiians, are somewhat like you are. And you know here, it's very hard to go out and experience outside. Only you people with good education like Mason can go out and see Hawaii, America, and so on and so forth. And here we are here. A lot of us will never see Polynesian people like you are, Hawaiians. So, we were looking forward to see you, really looking forward to you. And we know the voyage is to honor, what was the title? Grandmaster Piel, to take him all the way to his uh, smaller island. And he is there just for the honorary, but you guys are really doing the job. So we were really excited, and we are waiting for the voyage. And we know that we're going to learn from each other, not only applicational thing in which we're going to ask from you, but the 
a physical being just to look at you and learn kind of person you are, you know, your color, your hair, and the way you talk, the way you eat, the way you laugh, so on and so forth. So, like somebody was mentioning, uh, we thought that you will be getting off the boat in your custom, like the Holocaust. But then we realized that we're the same thing, t-shirt, shorts, long. We're about the same. And then we start to look at you and study you. And I know you do doing the same thing. And uh, we're really thankful to the master because of this time us together. And is there. This voyage is existing. We had a very great opportunity to learn, not only application, as I say, but a lot of things from you. And maybe you guys learn from us. So, here they are sitting here, hearing you say only the good things about us, like hospitality. You even said cute. Did I hear cute? <laughs> and they just would like to hear the bad part of us so that we can, you know, adjust and learn. Because we know they are. Don't, you know, don't, don't tell me there is no bad part about you. What I mean is like, you may. You may experience seeing something that you thought it is offending. So we really know to, we really want to know that too. So we can learn. Because when you come again, you will never see that again. Eh? The offending part, you may not see it again. So we would like to learn from you. So keep us our bad part, not just the good part. And um, before I shut my mouth, <laughs> we really want to ask deeply, you know, on how navigating is operating. Like we even want to ask how you, you know, like uh, heading, heading, heading for weather. And our and the master said they use wave. We just really want to know how that wave. What do you call that wave? What kind of wave? There are lots of waves there. And how you guide your canoe using all the waves. So we would like to really know, we hope, but we didn't want to ask maybe it is not good in cultural application. So we just kind of blow it down. Please tell us our that part so we will learn from it. <laughs> Anybody see anything bad about us, Jukis? <laughs> oh, I can tell you one. There's not enough stores open late. <laughs> so when we want to buy things late, we're stuck. <laughs> I respect your culture. But when I came here, the stories of what my grandparents or grand uncles and aunties would tell us is what Hawaii was like many years ago in some parts. Like, for instance, we still have what we call coffee farms in Hawaii, and when you go to the coffee farms, a lot of the homes are a lot like what they are here. Um, in our travels with the canoe, we have visited other places, and we always look for good and bad, as you will, in the different cultures that we have visited. Um, there's a lot of questions as we're driving on our buses through town and we see the people and we see the police escort. And when we came and we said, whoa, we got police escorts. What's happening here? Is it because of this big celebration? Or what, what was it? And we'll be very honest with you, we ask questions. And it is an education time for us. We don't know a lot about Chuk. We don't know, we didn't know a lot about post ride as well as Mark. <laughs> So for us to be here, you have to know, we ask your drivers, we ask the committee who's working with us. We're asking them all kinds of questions. Why are we having all of the police escort? And some of our people in the group are saying, I feel very spoiled now that I come here and I look at my wealth that I have at home in Hawaii. And wealth to us in Hawaii is very, very small. Many of us come from all kinds of backgrounds. Boy, I can't do it, 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 I can't do it,